What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Gus and this is Kelly Rebuildable. Okay guys, so let's get straight to it. You guys saw the title on my on my the title of the video, the thumbnail. So we're gonna talk about Carly and my Carly app. When first I heard about this it's um when i bought black widow off of copart auto auctions for those of you that don't know what black who black widow is this is black widow if you do, if you haven't seen this car go back into my videos and check it out um so for those of you that do know who black widow is remember when i bought it it had it was throwing some cold the battery was dead i bought a new battery i had to register the new battery to the car um and there was some codes that I managed to um, pull out with my scanner. Some of you guys were mentioning the Carly app and the Carly OBD adapter. So I didn't. I looked into it a bit, but not too much. Um, but when I sold the um, Black Widow, the kid that came, that came in and took it, before he take it, he took one of these adapters out of his pocket, his cell phone. He plugged it into the um, the 750. And showed me with his phone everything that was wrong with the car guys fortunately there wasn't nothing bad with the car with the motor no no obd codes no um no check engine lights none of that but there was there was some some faults in others in other places like it was telling me that there was something wrong with the doors and um the 750s guys whenever you shut the door and leave it open about half inch or maybe an inch the the car pulls the door shut by itself so my car wasn't doing that and it was supposed to do that. This guy uh, and made the doors shut by itself. Easy guys, super easy. And I was really, really um, surprised on, on uh, how easy that was and, and a lot of things he could do. He was also telling me that he was gonna make the original stereo guys play Bluetooth through his, through his phone. Remember I was trying to do that and some of you guys, that's when you guys were mentioning to get the Carly app and the Carly OBD um, adapter. I don't know if you guys could see it or maybe it's it's backwards, not sure, but um, now I have it. And honestly guys, like my title of the video says and my thumbnail, this is something that every BMW owner must have. Let me switch the camera guys. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm in the E90 and this thing goes down here there it is app. Guys. i installed the app on my old phone so first you're gonna go to vehicles you're gonna look for your car In this case mine is a And it's an 06. So go ahead and press 06. Okay, then you're gonna see the says Carly adapter. You're gonna hit the Carly adapter. Then you're gonna press the code. Most likely it's gonna be 000 or 1234. Then press done. Pair. And this thing, guys, is super easy to use. It's super easy. And honestly, it's gonna save you a lot of money. Remember when I bought, like I told you, the, the 750, I had to register the battery. Well, this registers your battery. Um, I asked a couple places and they were asking, they were charging me around 70 bucks to register the new battery. So, um, I mean, if I had this thing, I could have done it, guys. I mean, BMWs are pretty expensive if you take them to the dealership. But most of the stuff that you take the dealership, that you take your BMW to the dealership, is small, small stuff, small stuff that uh, the scanner, um, a normal scanner can't, you know, get to or or can um, figure out, like a door or something small that that, you know, just bugging you that you need to fix. But you gotta take to the dealership. But if you have something like this, like the Arc, my Carly app and the OBD adapter, guys, I mean, you could diagnose that thing yourself and save a lot of money. So um, the my Carly app and the OBD adapter are are synced now. Let's go to the diagnostics to see what we can find out. 
Okay, guys, so as soon as you download the app, this is what you're gonna get. I have the full version, guys, but I'm letting you guys see what I'm, what I'm the, the free version is besides the, before, after you buy the Carly adapter and download the, the app. So you could do um, diagnostics. You could get a, a diagnostics. All you gotta do is um, put your email after you hit the diagnostics. We're gonna check it out with my full version right now. I'm just showing you guys um, the normal app. Let's go to coding. So guys, if you wanna do your lights, most of you I've seen on, on, on YouTube, a lot of you guys you know, like to modify your, your headlights on your BMWs and stuff like that, A90s, E65s, whatever. And if you do LEDs, you know, sometimes they start flickering because of the canvas error, stuff like stuff like that. That's because your your BMW is monitoring, monitoring on the headlights, you know, it's checking um, the voltage on your headlights and everything. If something's wrong, it'll trigger the, the warning light. So you could you could um turn those monitors off and your headlights will not flicker, it won't send you no warning lights. That's for your fog lights, your low beams, high beams, corner lights, you could do whatever you want guys if you got halo lights you could even um dim them a little bit or you know put them as bright as you want if you guys like mod modifying your bmws you must have these guys it'll save you a lot of money why because if you buy some fog lights that are that are like for especially for your bmw and you don't want them to trigger no headlight i mean no no warning lights you're gonna pay 40 30 something bucks for them but if you buy normal leds they're gonna be like nine bucks you could you know pay for the nine bucks and if you have the carly app you can just turn off the monitor monitor on him and you're good guys but for you guys to to do you know to code the car to uh, modify your lights and stuff like that um with the with the app you do need the full version guys i suggest you guys find you know buy the full version um i'm gonna leave the link to this in, in my video description go check it out if you want to buy it and um like i said i mean it's it's really cool man in the long run even in the short run guys because if you're like me and i'm messing around with bmws a lot and, and with cars a lot you need this pretty often even though if you don't with me you know just owning two bmws the e65 and this e90 you know i would just wish i would have bought it before i sold the e, the e65 guys because it, it's really useful and for an e90 it's even if it's it i mean it's really cool another thing that i did guys was the speedometer the digital speedometer let me show you guys see if you have an e90 this is your speedometer right the analog speedometer but i put mine right here and i used it but i did it with the carly app guys right there let me see if i could if i could um do it show you guys there we go zero miles per hour guys my car did not have that before so now i do um and, and these small little, small little things like small little hidden features that you could unlock on your car and um i think it's really neat guys i think it's really really cool um we're gonna run the diagnostics now i'm gonna i'm not gonna be using that because that's just a free version of it i'm just gonna show you on my screen the the my full version you know the the one that you pay for and and see what you guys could do there's a lot of things we could do so um you won't be seeing my face you will be hearing my voice but you're just gonna see my screen guys okay guys so we are in my carly app now we're gonna connect to the car and like i said this is the full version so um it's gonna have a little bit more features so um it's connecting and okay there we go successful connection engine identified okay so we are with the 3 e90 connected and we're gonna run the diagnostic guys here we go start diagnostic and this there's a lot of false guys that this thing um finds that the normal scanner wouldn't so okay we got show fault we got the Let's see the faults, and here they are, guys. Look, um, let me see. You're gonna hit on top all. That's one of one, guys. Right here, where my pictures at, you can see the code and the results. 
right here exactly where my picture's at guys so i'm gonna move the picture back to out of place so there we go it says engine motor outside temperature sensor communication code 002f9a that's the first one we got the airbag and this one says passenger seat mat oc3 timeout id 43h terminals code 0093c3 instrument cluster we've got can timeout rbd i don't know what that means error outside temperature sensor temperature sensor windshield over current code 00931b I'm running out of battery guys audio navigation communication my code doesn't have no navigation but it's throwing a code there is where is that at uh, communication disturbed with the airbag control unit signal faulty okay then with the systems junk jug junction box passenger sensor code 0086cf the body okay short or open door contacts back disturbed communication with stepper motor box left that's the driver's side guys remember this car is damaged on the on the driver's side so that's what it's telling me that there's a short or open door contacts and there's two um two faults on on the body so it's gonna be the second one is communication with stepper motor box disturbed right panel error that's on the right side um and that's pretty much it guys that's the diagnostics pretty cool um you could start the clear you could start clearing them i'm not going to clear the, clear them because i want to look further into that and um, i'm gonna go back and coding oh no that's the that's the i drive no we're gonna go back here okay i think we are good stable now read from car i got in my phone right here and be checking all the stuff and um that's pretty cool guys now i'm gonna show you guys the daytime running lights the angel eyes i mean the brightness here we go see i have mine off but um you could go to very high and i have mine off because my my headlights aren't the stock ones so my my halo lights run um differently run differently so um my halo lights have power from a different source out of the headlight out of the headlight so um this won't work with mine that's why mine are off but if you have stock i mean stock headlights and yours have a halo and they're pretty low they're not as bright as you want them before you change the leds go ahead and and try this and see where it says very high you're gonna go ahead and code the car it's gonna give you a caution and stuff just press understood and agreed then go okay and it's gonna code it um my car won't do nothing like i said because my halo lights aren't hooked up um the you know with the oem headlights so that won't do nothing but there it is just in case i put my original headlights back on that thing would be really bright so but like i said i'm gonna bring them back to off so i'm gonna do off and it's gonna turn them off just as simple as that guys and there's a lot of things like you could do with the speedometer and stuff like that so you see my light went off it's already code ready to go and um let me show you another thing guys that's pretty pretty cool i know this video is gonna turn out pretty long but um let me show you the dashboard oh here we go and this is how you're gonna set your your digital speedometer guys just a quick way you won't see it on my on mine because mine mine is already mine already has the digital um the digital um, speedometer but I'm just gonna show you the way you do it on the app and it'll work on your on your car also on your BMW so um okay we're good now we're gonna go there we go the first one guys digital speedometer see mine is on but yours is gonna be off okay so if yours is off just hit the on and press code car Of course mine ain't gonna do nothing because mine is mine already has it like i showed you guys earlier so that's what you gotta do coding was successful 
and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it um the speedometer is all set like i said mine had it and there's a lot of things you could do speed limit warning temperature warning ignition key warning gps correction permanent speedometer lighting daytime running lights um a lot of things guys a lot of things gear shift indicator key but i think that's for manual just to you know show you um when to shift the little light and that's that's a lot of things man I'm not gonna go into detail on every single one guys because you know I could never finish this a lot of things you could do with this with this app so there you could register the battery see continue to battery registration I'm not gonna register because I, I haven't put a new battery on the E90 These guys a lot of things man I'm gonna continue doing this on myself and I'm gonna show you other cool features and other videos if you guys got any questions regarding this if you want to see something especially like on, on any type of coding for your car let me know uh, you know what let me give me just a minute let me get rid of all this camera i'm this i'm this camera is too small okay guys so like i said it's getting dark outside so if you guys want to get one for yourself the obd my carly um, obd adapter and the app i'll leave the link in my description guys check it out let me know what you guys think of this video i think it's really cool it's something really really cool like i said for any bmw owner and for any other um vehicle owner i mean I, like i said that's for other cars but um that's pretty much it for this video i'm really happy with this thing i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like it and for those of you that already have it um know what i'm talking about uh, i'm still waiting on the part for the bmw i mean for the mini cooper guys most likely i'm getting rid of the e90 pretty pretty soon guys so Maybe that's this will be the last time you see it. I don't know, but um, I do want to get rid of it. Like I told you, in my past videos, um, I have to get rid of it, and hopefully, it goes pretty soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment, like, share. See you guys in the next one.